It happened this past week, a worldwide uproar over the recent killing of Cecil the lion. Cecil was 13 years old, a huge black-maned lion, and a star attraction at a national park in Zimbabwe. A star, that is, until early July, when a Minnesota dentist, Walter Palmer, with the help of two local hunting guides, used food to lure Cecil outside the protection of the park where he was hunted down and killed. Faced with angry headlines at home and abroad, Palmer has gone into hiding. He's issued a statement saying that he believed that the hunt was legal. Extradite Palmer! Extradite Palmer! Extradite Unappeased, Palmer. protesters have left stuffed animals outside Palmer's currently closed dental office. Extradite Palmer! While officials in Zimbabwe are calling for his extradition to face criminal charges as the two local hunting guides already do. We are taking the issues very seriously. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says it is investigating as well, and that it was contacted late in the week by a representative of Walter Palmer. As of late Friday, the British conservation group that has been tracking Cecil with the GPS collar for years had received nearly a half a million dollars in contributions since Cecil's death. All of which, of course, comes too late for Cecil, and at a very late hour for all African lions, whose numbers have dropped from an estimated 75,000 in 1980 to fewer than half that today. <laughs>